Black Magic design just make major news at NAP 2025. For the first time ever, they have reviewed their complete immersive workflow from the Ursa Cine immersive camera through DaVinci Resolve all the way to native playback on Vision Pro. And we were fortunate to get another exclusive interview full access to the entire process in action. You are about to see that full workflow uncut so you know exactly how it works from capture to headset. But first, I want to tell you what I saw inside the Vision Pro, completely unfiltered. I'm gonna take that, and go in here, this video, yep, hang it. Whoa! The image quality is stunning. It's not just better than anything I have seen from other cameras or other headsets. It's better than the Apple's original immersive video on Apple TV right now. No chromatic aberration, no corner depth problem. The stereo feels natural and immersive, like you are actually there. And the secrets is all in how Blackmagic handled the image pipeline. With Canon EOS VR system, the dual fisheye image has to be unwrapped into an eco rectangular projection, which stressed the pixel and then rewrapped it again for Vision Pro playback. As double conversion introduced serious quality loss, you lost fine detail, sharpness, and resolution twice. Blackmagic avoid that completely. The Ursa Cine Immersive records in Blackmagic RAW and DaVinci Resolve doesn't render that image doing anything. Instead, it outputs a clean, unwrapped fisheye video stream embedded with MVHVC metadata. Then inside Vision Pro, the system rendered the video live using the editing metadata, displaying 2 AK per eye without baking in effects or compression. So what you are seeing in the headset is the original sensor data, rendered it at full resolution with real-time support for transition, graphic, 3D text, or as metadata. This is a major shift from how immersive video has been handled on MetaQuest or YouTube VR. And right now, no other system match this level of visual fidelity and flexibility. 